Hello and welcome back to Movie Reviews by Movie Lovers. And today's is Alice, the series, which unfortunately is a one for me. Four for me. All right, so you know our routine. We're gonna do short first, spoiler alert, and long version. Now, I'm gonna go ahead for the short and just talk, and then it's hers. <laughs> short, I don't really like it that much. Didn't like it that much because it didn't, I just, eh. She thought it was too slow. It was too slow. <laughs> it wasn't as good as the Tin Man, which I was expecting it to be a little better because of how much she was hyping it. And that's not true. I complain the worst with this one. Yeah. So I give it a one. So I'm going to toss this off to her because I'm not going to say much because the only part I like is the ending. And I can't talk about that on this part. I have to do that on the spoiler. <laughs> well, why don't we just say spoilers? Spoilers! <laughs> Sorry. And I know a lot of people probably have not seen Alice. So if you don't want spoilers, you better leave. If you want spoilers, stay with us. You're acting like a dork. <laughs> That's the whole point. I'm having fun with this. That's uh, true. <laughs> do you think uh, they've left? No, I don't think so, because this is the time we get to do this. So we have a sign in the back of us, which is, uh, it's the uh, rating PG, which is Parental Guidance Warning. It says, some material may not be suitable for adults. Exposure to silliness, strange annoying sounds, and the abundance of catchy songs played throughout the movie may cause insanity. Like Frozen! Um, by the way, we've already passed this point. We've worked with so much movie stuff that we've passed insanity. We're nuts. Sorry. <laughs> so if you like the way we talk, this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is why our marriage works. Yeah, we're, we're nutty. But that's just us. Um, before we continue with the Alice part, I want to tell you guys, if you haven't seen our TikTok or you're coming from our TikTok, great. If you haven't seen our TikTok yet, which is just the shorter version of this, but we have a lot more movie we've reviewed so far on there. If you want to see what else we've reviewed, um, go to TikTok at high ring 1153 and it's high like really high, and then ring, like, on your finger. No space in between. <laughs> it's it's my catchphrase thing. <laughs> That's and, one way to describe it. What were you going to say? I don't know. Okay. I've always had to explain it that way. All right. I think we're safe. If you have left, great. If you haven't, let's have fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This is all hers. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. All right, well, I'll go ahead and describe some of the stuff. There was scenes that were just outright crazy to me. Okay, so let me do a description of what it is for those who have stayed past the spoiler alert and are just staying. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> so Alice is basically Alice in Wonderland 150 years later, where the Queen of Hearts has taken over everything. Again. Actress who plays her is pretty good, though. Kathy Bates, yeah, she's awesome. Yeah. But it's where her son is actually trying to overthrow her, but needs the help of Alice. Or just an Alice. <laughs> she well, really could she, have been anybody. She does have a connection in the story. Her father is part of it, but that's because he's kind of brainwashed. Yeah, it's confusing. They don't explain it very well. It's very hard to understand. Yeah, but it has Tim Curry in it as well. I just like the actor who plays Hatter. And it has like a bunch of play on the old characters like Crocodile and... I was, I was thinking this is funny because I was she's talking about the Hatter. He reminds me of the lead guy in Panic at the Disco. I'm sorry. <laughs> you look at their stuff from the, where they do like steampunk. It's very similar. <laughs> really? It is. <laughs> Actually, I like him. Out of the whole entire show, that one was the one that I, that's the one person I liked. And the White Knight. 
which wasn't really a knight. <laughs> I mean, technically, since they were all gone, he is the only one. But he was never knighted. <laughs> no, he was just the squire to the white knight. And he only survived because he ran off. And he basically was chicken. Mm hmm. Everybody else died and he just survived. <laughs> but and I'll, the only, I like the scenery in the, the thing. It, it makes sense. Because it goes along more with the book. And I think I don't really like the book that much compared to like Alice in the Wonderland stuff that I've seen. Like Alice in Wonderland and Alice through the Looking Glass. Um. Like, I was expecting it to be closer to that, but it wasn't. And it kind of creeped me out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the amount of questions she asked before the movie even got halfway got annoying. They weren't answering any questions. They weren't actually focusing on the story. And that's normal for her. She'll ask questions if she's never seen it before and it's starting to piss her off. What? What do you expect? I do that all the time. <laughs> I even do that to my parents when I was watching stuff. I actually like, know most of the movies that we watched I actually got right off the bat. <laughs> yeah, like me where I will just sit through a movie and not ask any questions and then she gives me spoilers. You don't tell me to stop. No. Yeah. <laughs> but she offers the spoilers. I have to. Eventually she's gonna ask. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna go, I can't, I'm tired, I'm waiting, what happens? <laughs> she's done that before. I'm not the only one. But that's part of watching a movie at home. Now, if we were in the theater, we'd be quiet as a mouse. <laughs> and but, our eyes would be on the screen the whole time. Yeah, but when at home, I mean, you can ask questions. Unless there's someone that is with you that are watching these that doesn't want you to hear, doesn't want anybody to talk. It's very awkward. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> our dog just decided to get comfy on the chair. <laughs> yeah? Oh, uh... And the part that I like out of that whole entire movie is the ending scene where she's going home. And then after she gets home, she gets to have, big spoiler here, the Mad Hatter basically back. And her mother's face is awesome. <laughs> her mother is shocked. She's like, you know this person? I'm like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but I, I think that was the best part of the whole movie. That was expected. But other than that, it's bleh. But you love it. Yes, I do. It's your movie. I will never watch it again. <laughs> well, well, I think the only other thing is, should it be rated N.A. or should it have a rating on it? Well, it's only rated N.A. because it was a TV movie. Yeah. And most of those movies don't even have ratings. But if you were to rate it, what would you be rated? PG-13. A little dark, I can agree. It's a little dark and also some of the language, it's like not that bad language, but it's still... I don't know what she's talking about. I didn't hear any bad language at all. <laughs> well, That's... okay, the assassin kind of said some sh stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Which is really weird. He didn't have a head and they put a bunny's head on it. To make him like the, um, Mad yeah. March. From, oh. you know, the bunny from the tea party? Yeah. Or March Hare. There we go. March Hare. This movie was crazy. She likes it. I hate it. I think we're done. <laughs> right? Unless you want to say something else. No. All right. Well, come back later. We're going to do another review. So, bye! bye.